Let's get going, shall we? Hello, and welcome back to Mother Tongue, our YouTube channel. We are so excited to be back with you. We're going to now be giving you videos, what, every two weeks, I think we're aiming for, aren't yeah, we? Let's, yeah, let's maybe not put a, a time and a date on it, Marianne, uh, just got... in case we don't deliver here. <laughs> anyway, I've got a super exciting guest today. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'd love to introduce you all to the fabulous Shona, who's going to tell us all about baby sign language, the importance, signs you can teach your baby at home, and everything in between, really. So, Shona, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, uh, I'm, my full name is Shonali. I go by Shona, it's so much more fun, <laughs> especially when dealing with babies. <laughs> and so I um, run classes over at Katie Jane Dubai, and we basically believe in that building that connection with your child. And it starts all the way from the very little. And so that's why sign language is one of the first classes we offer for little ones. And it's amazing to watch the bonding and the language development with children who you wouldn't expect. Like a lot of people think, oh, my children will start speaking by one year. Mm. And actually language development is happening right from the time they're born. You'll notice it by your little ones when they're six months, they start like cooing. language. They laugh back at you when you say something. So language is all of that. Mm. Um, it's not only expressive, it's also receptive. It's understanding language. So children are like little sponges and you talk, 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 talk and it all goes in. You're so right. Yeah. I mean, Marianne and I actually visited uh, the five week course of yeah. Katie Jane Shona. I always used to get this very confused. Me too. Um, but the sign language course and it was insane. I think I attended maybe three classes and Frida was loving mm. the milk sign. So and we still were, to the day. We were big on sleep. You were big on the mm. sleep one. So yeah, weird how different babies pick up different things. Yeah. Like it's 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 um it's different babies and different families and mm. different routines, which is great. It's like a language. So whichever parts of it you use and your child likes. And it's great because they can communicate back to you. And isn't that just amazing? Yeah, I I love that, honestly. And I to be honest. I'm going to be really upfront here. I didn't know a lot about baby sign language. I didn't mm -hmm. really know it was a thing. And then I think it was you or Jess who were like, oh, we need to go and try this baby sign language class. That's me. Well done, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was just so nice. I think obviously children, as they get older and older and they're desperate to actually communicate with you, but they don't have the skills or the voice to be able to do so. So giving them this option to be able to communicate in a very basic way with their parents. I just think it's so wonderful. So let's circle back to the benefits. Why should people teach their children sign language? So there's over 20, 30 years of research on sign language. Wow. Yeah, so let's nerd out for a quick second. Yeah, so <laughs> like, so we well, we know that Shona <laughs> loves to nerd out. Well, it's important to have research behind what you're saying. Otherwise, we're just saying things and anybody can just say something. Yeah, you're so right. It's good to have research behind it. So Linda Acredolo and um, Susan Goodwin. So they are the, one of the pioneers that started this in the 80s. And the main person was David Garcia, who actually did it in the 70s. Wow. And so sign language has been around for forever because sign language is actual language that the deaf community uses to communicate. Mm -hmm. But about 30 years ago, they started to see the benefits in children and hearing children. And that's when a big switch happened. And they started to notice that hearing children with deaf parents or without deaf parents started to speak quicker oh, and wow. have bigger vocabularies if they were signing. Amazing. So That's incredible. And the benefits went all the way up till um, six, seven years of age. Oh, wow. Affecting their, their IQs, their cognitive develop development. And it helps with literacy. When you sign, finger sign something, it helps children understand the letter and the sound. It helps them, them with literacy. Amazing. That's I amazing. think one thing I would comment on from a personal experience, I think it helps with the frustration yeah. of the child. Agreed. Big time. Sometimes they don't know how to express themselves. They're trying to communicate, like, obviously from when they were little, they're crying, and obviously the, we try to pinpoint the different sounds of the crying and things, but that really helped, I think. Um, and it's still helping now, Frida, as she's learning more words and picking things up. You can see some days she's quite frustrated, like, why on earth is mama not understanding what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but I think with us attending this sort of class, it's definitely taken away quite a big part of that. Yeah, for sure. I think yeah, that's, like, that's a big thing we say. A lot of parents worry about the terrible twos. Mm. Yeah. And children, parents that sign, they don't worry about that. Like, I, 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 I have myself, I'm a mom. <laughs> so I have a two-year-old, he's two years, five months. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. 
because we have this great language that's there. Like most of the frustration of the terrible tools, part of it, is that they're not able to communicate. Yeah. So yeah, like you said, top thing is they're able to communicate. Some other fun benefits is that it's great for their fine and gross motor development because they're using their hands to communicate with you. So they're building those muscles. You're actively focusing on them clapping. On yes. Them. So that's fine and gross motor development. Wow. And I think primarily for this region, most people are bilingual. Yeah. Mm. So another benefit of sign language, it helps join the two languages together. Mm. So whether you say milk or you say, let's say in Hindi, you say dood, or whether it's maya for water, whatever language, you can both use the same sign so then baby knows it's the same I thing. I haven't thought about that, that's amazing. And it's really, really great for expats as well yes. because there are so many different cultures and stuff. And what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> Languages! <laughs> but bilingual parents, yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably the majority it's of majority. couples mm. here are usually bilingual. bilingual. Mm. And if you are not bilingual, Sign language is introducing another language, so you get the yes. benefits because bilingual children, um, there's a lot of benefits to being bilingual. So when you teach them sign language, if you only speak one language at home, it's like two languages. Oh, I love that. So amazing. Well, we should go on to five signs. Let's do five signs that you can teach your baby at home because obviously, you know, it's great if you can come to classes like yours and I mean, we saw such a massive benefit in it, but also continuing to do it at home is also very important it's, because it takes some time, doesn't it, to really drill it down into their into their minds. It's uh, and also for us to get used to doing it. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's more about us. <laughs> You're right. I you know obviously you sent through the emails with the little prompts. So I mean sometimes mothers, just me in general, in one ear out the other, and I could be in class. I remember the songs and things. I'm thinking. You know, it takes a little bit of time to digest. Yeah. So you're right, doing it at home and yeah. So let's go through the five top ones. Top signs. So obviously the top, top, top one is milk. <laughs> Freya's favorite. Yes. So it's milk, it's like a clench. What we're learning is British Sign Language. Mm. There's many sign languages in the world. So if you see something different online, it just could be another sign language. Okay. okay. So we have milk. 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 Doesn't matter which sign you use, just consistently use that sign. Yeah. Amazing. And then um, around six months, we're starting to eat. So yes. eat. It's like that. So it's like a bunch at the side of the mouth. Outside of the mouth. Okay. Of the mouth. So like I was always like. <laughs> yeah, me too. But yeah, in <laughs> the house of cheese, basically. <laughs> <laughs> or my, just my house of cheese. It's kind of gesture. So we have eat. You could also use it for breakfast. Yes. Ah, okay. You know, all meal times. Meal times. Whatever. Because so, that's the other thing. It helps them understand it's all food. It's all yes. eating. Yeah. Okay. Then we have, let's do water. Because we introduce water. Yeah. So, so like drink. Water. water. Yeah. What do you want? Water. You or can say water, wine. drink. <laughs> water, wine. <laughs> Mummy's wine. <laughs> Baby's water. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So this is a sign for drink, but you could use it for different things. All right, so we have milk, food, drink. Now, how about we do sleep? <laughs> the one we love, my favorite. <laughs> when I'm usually like, it's sleepy time, Rafa, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, we need to utilize these nap times so much. I know. It's like such a beautiful moment when they let you know they're sleeping. Yes. yes. I had a friend actually, and um, she was big on the, the sleepy one. And so from a very young age, she was like, sleepy time, sleepy time. And then as I think he was one years old, he would then be like, my mom, well, obviously not saying mom, I'm sleepy, yeah, but he'd just be like this. And she knew, and I just thought that was Lovely. the most glorious thing in the entire world. So that's been a big one in our household. Yeah, so sleep is like this, two hands to the side. Of course, this is hard for little ones to do because your hand crosses over. Yes. So you might see them just put one hand like this. So when they first start signing, it may not really look like signing, just kind of like the hands kind of moving. So look for those um, those signs because it's not going to be precise. So cute, isn't it? I know. <laughs> and the final one, I love you. I just think it's so yeah. beautiful and so nice for Super you to cute. say it to your child and then say it back to you. Because we don't only want to do signs that are basic needs. Yeah. We also want to do signs about love and yeah. comfort. So we're going to do I love you. So that's I love and you i, I love, love you oh, oh i love the camera <laughs>
sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to share the love <laughs> around here, but all right, Marianne's all about herself. I'm keeping it all for them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. No, I love that one. And I just want to say three really important rules yes. when you're signing. Yeah. The first thing is always say the word when you sign it mm. because we are joining speech and and the sign. Yeah. So we're building speech. Our goal is spoken language. So yes. always say it. And the second important golden rule is say it within your baby's line of sight, behind them, or you know, so make sure they can see you. Yeah. And the third one, okay, this one is the most important, guys, okay? <laughs> oh, have fun! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what that word is. Oh, oh, amazing. That's amazing. incredible. Shona, thank also, you. Also, make sure your husbands know the signs. Yeah. I would also say that's a good one. Or your partner, for example. Or, or if you have help in the house, it's also really important to all try and be implementing the same thing, right? Completely. Absolutely, because the more people using it in the more different circumstances, yes. the quicker. It's like any language, the more you talk in context, the more your child's gonna pick up yes. language and signing. I love that. And Shona, can you just tell everybody where they can find you on maybe Instagram, if they come to you with any other questions that they might have? 100%, you can look for us at Katie Jane Dubai. So that's K-A-T-I-E, Jane, J-A-N-E, Dubai. <laughs> Perfect. And as always, everyone, you can find us at We Are Mother Time on Instagram, but please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Give me a thumb, Al. Give me a thumb. Woo! <laughs> we like this episode. All subscribe. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.